is reddish in all parts. And no, no reddish color will be. It, it is equal everywhere, and it is red everywhere. Okay. No shadows are present. Shadows will be of the black color. Presence of shadows indicates presence of opacity, either in the vitreous or in the lens. Look how you do this. So you fix ophthalmoscope to your eye, close the open mm. eye, direct light to his pupil. No, you open both eyes and see that uh, red <coughs> is reflex. Shift from one eye to the other. You will not see anything. Uh, you need to take ophthalmoscope. Then you ask your patient to look upwards. Look up. Compare again. Look up, look, look up. You see another part of the lens now. Look down. Compare one eye with the other eye. Look straight to the left. No, no, to the left, to the left. To the right. So I examined his red fundus reflex in different positions of the eye. And I make the conclusion that his vitreous and lens are transparent because it is equal everywhere. So if you will have opacity, then in front <coughs> of the red fundus reflex, there will be shadows of the black color. Mm -hmm. It may be different in shape, it may have different localization, but in front of the red, you will have black shadows. You must decide where they localize, either vitreous or crystalline lens opacity. The major difference is that crystalline lens opacity are fixed because crystalline lens has rigid consistency. When your patient is moving his eyes, you come from one eye to another in different position. They move together with the eye movement and they stop at the time when his eye stops moving. While vitreous opacities are called floaters because vitreous has jelly consistency, <coughs> after his eye stopped, they continue <coughs> moving, floating. That is the first principle. So you know whether these are lens or vitreous <coughs> opacity. Second, they stop together. For example, like like now. Uh, look, look up. For example, if he would principle like this. So, <coughs> if you have opacity in the central part of the lens, when your patient is looking straight, you will see it in the center. When your patient is looking to the side, for example, he looks upwards. Opacity is staying in the center. If you have opacity localizing anterior to the center, when he is looking straight, it is in that line. When he looking up, it moves further. It is above. If you move, look <coughs> downwards, it will be more. If it is in posterior part or in vitreous, when he looks straight in one line, when he looks to the side, it doesn't reach that line. So anterior opacities move further, posterior opacities, Don't posterior doesn't reach the central line. Understand? Mm -hmm. So you can even say how deep opacity is. So now boys, what I suggest you to do? Well, I will show you one uh, method, another method, it is uh, indirect ophthalmoscopy. As soon 